Mr. Mark Rawlings, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm um, great, thank you for inviting us to your beautiful neighborhood, Spring Garden. No problem. Beautiful. Can you tell me a little bit about Spring Garden? It's a very interesting architecturally, just to look at this yeah, place. It's yeah, it's a very old neighborhood. There's a lot of the old construction in here still. Um, Spring Garden Ave behind us has quite a few old churches and lots of old buildings. And uh, this area used to be a little bit more industrial, so there's some industrial stuff, uh, a lot of warehouses and whatnot, mm -hmm. but you scoot back onto the side streets and find a lot of nice little neighborhoods and stuff. Very green. Yes, lots of Lots green. of green. I'm loving that. Yeah. Having a lot of hills going on here. It reminds me of like the 1800s. Yeah, yeah. Oh. It was built in the 1800s. Re really? So, yeah. How old is your house? Uh, it was bo uh, built in 1889. So, awesome. Yeah. Awesome. I know you can feel that real sense of history. <laughs> Do you see, is this a kind of community where people... Uh, live for generations, families? Oh yeah, definitely. I would say most of the people that live on my street, Boss Camp Street behind us, uh, it's multi-generational or Beautiful. they're living in their parents' houses or something Grandparents along those lines. Yeah. Um, do you find it a real sense of community here in this neighborhood? Yeah, um, it's, it is. I would say each street has its own little community almost. Right. Um, the neighborhood as a whole, uh, I wouldn't say is super connected. There's not a lot of like neighborhood events. There are some, but eat, eat, they they look out for each other. That's good. You know? Look out for your neighbors. Do, where do you see Spring Garden in 25 years? Um, hopefully, uh, maybe a little bit more sparsely um, inhabited as far as some of these buildings that are kind of too old to stay viable, get knocked down, and lots of people get nice yards, and <laughs> a lot of people, uh, we see a lot of people moving in here, so there's a lot of, a lot of families moving in, a lot of younger folks moving in. Oh, and, so you're getting ready to have like a little uh, revitalization, revitalization in your neighborhood. Yeah, I think, I think we're getting there. Good, good. Um, a couple young people just got on the board, and talking about getting the abandoned houses occupied and awesome. maybe get some businesses in here and stuff so, so what do you what do you think about your business zone does spring garden have a business zone or um, do you have to leave your neighborhood to get the the, the amenities it, it, it kind of does uh right down a couple blocks on spring garden there's you know there's a little pizza shop there's a hair place there's a little convenience store a little bit further down <laughs> so it's not like huge but east ohio street's just uh just a couple blocks away and that has you know, one of the only independent hard hardware stores left in the city. Yeah. And a lot Very of nice neighborhood restaurants. stuff. Yeah. yeah so. I like it. I like it. I like it. Yeah. So if somebody, if you had a friend that came in from out of town, where, what's the first place you would take them in Spring Garden? In Spring Garden? Um, probably Penn Brewery. I think oh, that's yeah. in Spring Garden, right? Yeah, I don't know where the division exactly goes, but, but that's can, real close. Yeah, from right here, you can actually, yeah, it's not very far at all. No, no. It's a beautiful historic place. Yeah, it's it's a good one for this neighborhood. I think that'll, that, Does that's the a city serve kind of. this area very well? I mean, do you think it serves the city well? Um, you don't see a lot of city interaction, actually. It's a lot of, a lot of people just keeping their own houses up and, you know, doing their own thing, but... I think when we need the city, they probably will come in and yeah. help us. Yeah. You get good snow removal and all that good stuff. Uh, yeah, on the main streets. Yeah. The side streets uh, maybe lack a little bit, but, <laughs> you know, I think it's like that everywhere. So. Well, I will say that this is a beautiful neighborhood, Mark, and I'm so glad you had us here. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for having us. Right? <laughs> <laughs>